I'm not sure we have to go that route. Um, I think all we really want to say is that everyone has a degree of perfection in them and, and we're all trying to improve and you know there there are those that are so far beyond us that you know everyone probably looks pretty much the same here on earth to some of the angels higher up so anyway i just i guess what i'm trying to say is we shouldn't get too hung up on people being higher or lower right or genius like, or we, not we could say like we could say like people who have died if we knew the people who have died and be like hmm that that person attained um, Jesus status really fast or somebody... uh, I, Go ahead. I just want to say is I don't think we want to say that should even be a goal to become uh, an Isu however you pronounce it I, just, I, I, question, I question whether that should even be a goal I think um, yes. I, and I know there's it was to be mentioned these different great prophets but I think it's a mistake to try to make that a goal. Um, I think the only goal you can really say, we should, any of us should have, is that of being of service of some kind to help others to be happier and more successful. And that that's kind of a outward, uh, it's, it's, it's a ter totally a personal goal. And, and that kind of thing is, I mean, it doesn't seem like it's a worthy goal is what I'm trying to say. Well, universal goals are better. Okay. All right. Look at this. All right. Th this I wrote, this is my web website. I don't have it. It's in, it's in the Wayback machine. It's in the web, web archive. So, all right. I, this, this says right here, I, Jesus, I assume, signifying without evil is the ultimate salvation of the soul. So I, I mean, I'm very surprised you said that, Bob. I'm very surprised you said uh, that. I feel even stronger now. What do you mean? Yeah, because um, someone who is without a sex of some kind, not either male or female, they're a eunuch. I mean, that that's pretty trivial, a trivial goal. And to say someone was without evil, that's also quite a judgmental thing to say someone's without evil. And I mean, you could, it's, I mean, to me, I'd rather have someone say, this person is working their butt off to help everybody around him. And I don't care whether he's, I don't care whether he has a little bit of evil in him either. I just, the, the point is that nothing matters except universal goals where you're trying to help other people, not for your own advantage, not so you can be without evil, but that you can do something that's good. This, it's a very negative way to describe it as something, isn't it? Without evil. I'm sorry, this is just a oh, close up. Yeah. I'm just very surprised at what you're saying, Bob. I, I'm just very surprised you're saying. <laughs> I'm surprised about you. <laughs> what? I'm surprised that you feel this is important. I don't feel this well, is important okay. in any sense. I think. You don't think Jesus is important? Jesus no. is the ultimate no. salvation of the soul. Jesus is not. I don't. I mean, the ultimate salvation. This definition. Not, not, not Joshua Ben Joseph. Not like. Joshua. No, it's flawed. Salvation of a soul. I mean, that's a very Christian way to look at things. Everything's a progression. And to say that you've reached salvation at this point, I think it's not really the way we should perceive our life. Anyway, does that make sense? No, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. <laughs> well, as long as the people who hear this understands it, but basically you don't, that's the whole beauty of what Awaspi is saying is no one's eternally condemned, no one's eternally saved. There's no such thing as eternal salvation or eternal condemnation. You okay. simply have to become strive to help people in more and more effective ways as your eternity edges on to be to be more selfless, to be more love loving. Well, this is interesting that you don't feel good. Interesting. Okay, we know Capella. I find this definition very misleading. I don't. I don't. Even the fact that there is a definition is misleading because it's not the goal of a waspy to hear the creator's voice and to, you know, to come together and work in the organized heavens. That's the goal. Those are the goals. And this is just some sort of personal idiosyncrasy, you know, 
and, it, and it's wrong. There's no such thing as ultimate salvation. And remember, Iwaski itself says there's really, no one's evil. They're just ripe and unripe. Remember that? I'm not saying yeah. we should hinge it. Well, yeah, it's everybody. called ripe. Iwaski itself says there's no such thing as evil. It's just a question of ripeness. Over. That's why I wanted to get into the, the continuum yeah. idea of so, spirituality. So, so we know the, the, the lawgivers. The lawgivers were, I guess, they were from birth. Um, Capilla was, Ku was, Confucius, Paul. Yeah, everything, everything, everything doesn't matter at this point. The, the case is over. It's over. You can't argue. That so then let, let me talk about the other side of Vanessa. So, you know, you remember the story of Brahma? You know where you like, you like he did, like, did all this, did all this stuff for like, he he abstained himself from speech. He abstained himself from so, some for food. He abstained. Do you, do you remember? You remember? You know what I'm talking about? The story of Brahma. He abstained himself. Oh, from, he he begged. He begged for a long time. Brahma, Brahma. He yeah. Uh, Prince. You remember Prince. all this, right? So he yeah. he did everything to abnegate self. Everything to abnegate self. And then one day he was crying. He was one. Of, he was crying. I remember this. And then one of the angels, one of the Lewis, um, saw this. He went straight to the he went straight to the God of the Earth, and he said, "This is what Brahma's doing." And um, he had a family. Um, so he had Hog, and he had a whole bunch of kids. And in That's his old age, as you can see right here, this is from the Wapsi, from his old age. Brahma, who who was not a naturally born, um, he was not a naturally born Jesus, but he attained Jesus status in his old age. This is from Loopsy, I guarantee you. You're mister, but you're misunderstanding the whole point of it. You're making this sound as if the goal of life is to become, you know, in this Yusu state. And that's a mistake. Well, okay, what? What's wrong with? Okay, most people want to get sick. Most okay. So the Wapsi also says, you know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I don't want to get into. I feel no, like just, this is interesting. I'm just a strongly held view. I think you're wrong. You don't like to be wrong. <laughs> I don't, I'm not wrong on this. <laughs> I don't even feel. If you really understand what Awaspi says, it says it in the first book of Awaspi, to hear the Creator's voice, you know, to do good unto others. So, and this is ridiculous. This I used to thing, and and the, this great leaders of the past. I mean, that was for that time. It's not for now. These two there's right no, here. Crazy. There's no, and you you know yourself if you read Awaspi that it says there's not going to be any more great leaders. It's not like that anymore. This was just, those were just special circumstances for where the way the world, the way the civilization. Well, some of my a, point is some of my point is I think Russell and the other Russell, Walter Russell, Charles Taz, they were very close to either attaining it or maybe they even attained it on Earth. But I would say I say it's I don't give a flying hoot if someone attained the use of state. It's it's such a personal thing. You have to think more universally. Where you're working together with other people, to in a, in a community, in a communion, where you're working towards some greater good for the world and for the heavens. Well, that's all that matters. This so, I I would assume you would agree with me in saying this. I'm not saying that these guys didn't exist, but it was for that time, Matthew. It's right now. Your goal should never be to be an isu. So it's, I it's just if you concentrate, it's just a distraction. So I would assume you would agree with me in saying what I'm about to say. So the Nirvanans, the Octanes, the um, the spirits, the Etheran world, who have gone beyond Shavat, have who have begot, gone beyond um, like Moses, um, they have attained um, all of them. All of them. And I don't think you can argue with all of them. As Jesus status, as status. I can't say that that's true or not, but I'm not saying that it isn't the case. Well, just that actually that that might not be true because I remember Anna Anna Sash, 
Anu Anu Hasaj Anu Hasaj is that how you say it? Something Maybe. something like that. He 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 would go from corporal planet to corporal planet. Um. But th this right here, this right here, is from um is from the Wapsi Ayesu signifying without evil is the ultimate salvation of the soul. Um, now this, this is, this is from the Wapsi. Everything with the orange is from the Wapsi. Um, men can attain Esu status by fasting, long suffering and diet, even by many who have not have it naturally. For example, Brahma uh, attained Esu status in his old age. Are you are you implying that you think that the modern person of today's age should be seeking this? Well, okay. Well, I, I, I mean, here, here's I you are, so. I think that'd be the wrong message. Do you know? You know when? Do you know when Brahma? You know when Brahma stopped speaking? You know when he abstained from speech? Do you remember that? And when he started to do, abstain from eating, when he was only given alms, and he was when he was like um, just allowing as a he was being as a beggar. He was he was in literal life before that. He was a prince, right? I'm I'm not questioning your story, what you're saying. I'm just questioning where you're going with it because well. I I, still think I, I understand where you're coming from too, because Brahma, Brahma thought to himself at, at that time when the Lewis came to him, that that might have been a little selfish, you know, just him attaining uh, Jesus' status. I mean, here he was a prince of the world, a, a prince of India, and um, he was he was trying to attain attain it for himself, like attain it attain Jesus' status for himself. Well. Well, that, 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 you yeah, know, so it, it's it pointless. Was a little selfish. It was a little selfish, but he was trying to attain Jesus' status. Well, well, the thing is, even if that was true for him in those special circumstances thousands of years ago, it's not true now that you should. Start, it isn't. Doesn't mean that you shouldn't fast ever or shouldn't uh, do some kind of solitude. Yeah. Right. Uh, periods in your life where you train your, yourself to be more one with the creator in certain ways, but it just means that I'm just saying the point is you, sh you can never get away from this, that you're here to learn how to do good unto others and to hear the creator and how to help hear the creator's voice so you can do this more perfectly. There's nothing else to say, add or to that. So if you start setting up these arbitrary benchmarks like, well, you, you become an Isu or you have to take part in this ceremony that's in Safav. So then you start going off the rails into and you get you're out of the second resurrection into the first resurrection or lower. Over. So a lot of a lot of the theme of the Wapsi is like to abnegate self. Abnegate self. You see that? You say that very often in the Wapsi. Abnegate self. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So that is abnegate a part of self in order to help someone. It's not simply like you're gonna you see that when Star Wars came out in like 1976, 77. Then they started, um, that was that was like to be a Yoda or whatever. And, you know, but yeah, it's the same concept. Abnegate self, become selfless. Um, I would, I would think, I would think that people like Charles Taz Russell, I would think that people like, um, I mean, what do you, what do you think John, John Newborough was doing right. He was, he was kind of doing the same thing as Brahma, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but he wasn't. He was trying to help other people for the ten year period before he started channeling a wasp. He, he was working. He's doing good works. Yeah, he had a vegetarian diet. I'm not arguing that fasting and vegetarian diet are wrong. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying you don't want to do. You don't want to do that. If you're as a means to achieve the goal of becoming an Aisu, some type of prophet state of being, that that's got the cart before the horse. It's all backwards. You have to try to help other people without thought of anything else. I think except yeah. improving it, how you help other people. The hardest thing in the world to do too. 
but that that's the thing about abnegating self i mean here here the christians are like they're trying to preach um what joshua ben joseph or or joshua said in there i mean what joshua literally said was um i'm, I'm sorry rich people you're screwed <laughs> you know i mean that's kind of what i mean he was very anti-rich so Vuopsi further goes into that and entails into that and says people who are rich in this world will have no money um, going, going trying to, to, to har harvest or um, uh, uh, it basically what it said was if those who had great means to do good but didn't do anything with it will have to accomplish in the next world what they could have done at a very high bar of, a, of success, but this time without money. Yeah, so, exactly. You know, you know that well. That's very good. Yeah. Um, and that's really what I'm saying is the message. So I don't know how we got onto the Saisa thing, but I think it's a dead end. And I, I was shocked. I was shocked that you said that. I was I, absolutely I, shocked. I feel I, you, you convinced me even more of my position. Really? So yeah. what, how do you how do you disagree with me? Well, I've explained it to you three or four or five different ways already, and it hasn't gotten through now that well, I don't want to bother you anymore about it. I say we should yeah, just I mean, it. like to me, Brahma shouldn't, I mean, he was, Brahma was trying to abnegate self, he was trying to be well, self. Yeah, but I've made the points already. I'm not trying to beat a dead horse, but that was long ago, and it was for a specific purpose when the civilization was a different state of being. That's not what you and I should do. That's not what anybody who reads a WASP should do. You should not be trying to become an Ayusu. What you should, that's not what the message of a WASP is. And I keep saying this thing over and over. It's to help people. It's to hear the Creator's voice. It's to become more, and to do that as a group in harmony with one another. It's the hardest thing in the world to do because you're not sure where to begin even. But that's the goal. So this is a distraction. You're not going to reach that goal if you're thinking about, well, I have to become without evil. I, I have to reach the ultimate salvation of my soul. I have to go to Yusuf. That's just going to confuse you and other people if that's your goal. It, it's something to be ignored or simply said that was for the distant past. So, so you, know, you know how Luamsi talks about like really old people. Really old people, um, it says here, shall have no, no flesh desires, right? Really old people have no. I mean, I, I, I see that with really old people. You know, they they here. I mean, I'm, I'm getting really blown about that. I don't care. You have a lot of old people in Japan. I, I don't care if they have desire or if they do have desire. That's on them. And uh, I can tell you that Walter Russell married at the age of 77, so I guess he had desires. So, well, um, there's like, it's, okay, it's just, it's just a distraction for you and for everyone. Like, this is, okay. this is a dead end. And I don't mean that. I don't want to say it that way, but I just, just say because. It. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know what age Walter Russell attained as his status. It might have been before death. It might have been after death. I, I don't know. You can attain it like Brahma did on the earth. Yeah, but it even if you, it's pointless. Don't don't consider that as a, a venerable thing to achieve. It's Why? Not, because it, so your point is because everybody everybody who is. You think everybody is going to attain ISU status? Eventually, you you might be partially. It's like telling me you want to wear a red coat, and that's how you're going to reach Nirvana. I'm going. Why are you bringing that up? It's totally well, like, irrelevant. It's like there was more than just Brahma who did this. Like <laughs> it was way more. Let me, let me bring up Brahma. Go ahead. You, you have to re-educate me on the names of the prophets and of their deeds. I. Don't, I've said it in seven or eight ways. I think we should drop this because obviously you don't understand what I'm saying. No, I, I understand. You're well, like, we're coming closer to each other. Like I understood, you know, like because Brahma himself, like he's. But this he's is my whole point. About, not to serve India, and here he is trying to attain, you know, Jesus status. It's a very limiting. Uh, idea to focus on someone's grade or how close they were to becoming an Aisu as a means of, as a path that we have to follow as the goal in itself. Yeah. 
Well, I can under, understand another it, it thing. Outcome, it could be an unintended outcome, perhaps, of everything you're doing. But to say straight out, you know what? I've got to become an, I have to become an Asus so I'll achieve ultimate salvation. Right. And I said there's two things wrong with that. One, there's no ultimate salvation. It's a progression from unripeness to ripeness. It's a continuum of, you know, becoming less selfish and less selfish along the way. And um, Yaisu is simply, it's not more important than hearing the Creator's voice. And that's what you should be focusing yeah. on, you, to reach your own inner inspiration. And that's saying I have to become an Yaisu first before I do that. Just drop it. So, okay, here, here's the thing. This is, this is mental baggage. Here, here's the thing, okay. All right, you know, Brahma was 90, grade 99. That, that meant... That meant Brahma was serving others 99%, 99, and then himself one, just one, just one. Cool. That's the highest you can go. So, all right, so there's there's attaining ISU status, and then there's, you're great. So you, 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 you're talking, I hear you talking a lot about, about serving other people, and that's exactly what, what you know, the grades, the grades are. I'm arguing they did, but I'm, what I'm saying it's a mistake for anybody in the present day to seek to become an Isu or to be conscious of their own grade and say, you know what, I'm only like 25% now. I'm going to make sure I get that up because that in itself is a selfish act. All you can really do is say, I need to help people more. How the heck am I going to do it? What can I do to be less selfish? Over. I'm sorry. Does that make sense? Well, okay, I, 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 it, okay, you know, you know how the Wapsie, it talks about, um, you can tell one's grade by the, by, by their voice, by their voice. Okay. <laughs> See, should I try now? <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you your grade. What? <laughs> I'm going to listen to your voice and tell you your grade. I gotta go to the bathroom. Um, dude, no, it's it's true. You don't you don't believe me? That's what Bobsy says. No, I'm not you. saying I'm not saying I don't believe you. I'm just saying it's wrong on two levels. One, the fact that you should want to know your grade is wrong. Yeah, you should want to know the grade of another person is wrong, and um, huh. it's not gonna it's gonna lower your grade to to want to know. I'm okay. being facetious on this. Right. So, all right, let me, let me just, let me just take one, like 45 seconds. Okay. All right. Agi, period of summer dark, uh, degree of density. And abs. Um, so when Agi, this period of summer dark, comes upon low grade people from 22 to 33, war, destruction, death, lust will come upon the people. So we, we can see that like, Okay, what happened during World War II? What happened during 1812? What happened during... Yeah, I, I think uh, that's... Yeah. So, I think that's legitimate yeah. analysis. I mean, we, we, can, we can see it's coming, some of the things that they do. So... I don't have a problem with this. I don't have a problem. You gotta judge, judge them. You shouldn't be judging them, but you can kind of see um, what grade they are. When, when, I don't have a problem with this at all. I don't have a problem with anybody studying this. Yeah. Societal, worldwide manner i think okay. it's probably very useful well when it and let me 20 more seconds um when it comes upon medium grade people 33 to 66 war and intellect with oratory music and remarkable genius will result so i mean we we can everybody knows these 22 to 33 grade people i mean we all know those people they're like <laughs> But and then the medium grade people, oh, okay, genius people, high grade. No, people. I think Russell was in this group. I think Russell was in this group. Hunt's manifestation, both Russells, Charles Taz Russell, and I think Walter Russell. Comes manifestation of um, what's that word? Uh, something right. lords, gods, saviors, institutions, rites, and ceremonies. So. Uh, Walter Russell, yes, definitely. Probably Nikolai Tesla. Um, yeah. Uh, Charles Taz Russell, yes. 
Rutherford, Rutherford, I I will guarantee you, Rutherford, um, what's his first name? Whatever that Jehovah's Witness, Jehovah's Witness guy. He probably is, he probably is in the lowest grade, like 22 to 33. It's very low. I would be careful about that, actually. I oh, think, actually, the, I think those rankings, you see them in parentheses? It means I think I wrote someone, this. I think this should be one, grade one. To, what I'm trying to say, I don't, I don't believe they're correct. But I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not prepared to give you what I think they should be. But I'm just trying to tell you, this is what somebody decided to type in there, and it's never been confirmed that that's the case. So that's all I'm saying. So here's the low grade people. All right. I mean, you can, one to thirty three. Anyway, I'm saying that, that, that I don't think it's right. I think let, it's let me add twenty second. They would become magic magicians and prophets without virtue. Without virtue. You know, by the way, virtue is what we need in this world. Even with even with cults these days. I don't care. I don't care if you're a you're a crazy cult. As long as you have virtue, you're a good cult. So when it comes upon um medium grade people, um self appointed malefactors. Malefactor, that's like a, a criminal. Um, or a criminal in Jehovah's eyes, high grade people, true prophets abnegating self for the sake of righteousness. Yeah. That's well, it's nice to have these definitions and everything. And um, all I can really say is that we are the summation of all our experiences and thoughts and that it keeps going. We, we can't stand still. And, um, we shouldn't be too certain about where we are either on the continuum and we shouldn't we should care a little bit but the main point is we just want to keep becoming a better person a more virtuous person as you say yeah when 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 a religion has lost virtue it's pretty much worthless i i don't i don't care what they preach if they lost virtue uh it, it's 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 just, it's worthless. I mean, I, I look at the Mormons, I look at the Mormons as kind of, you know, weird, weird, weird teachings, but they have a lot of virtues, in my opinion. Um, you know, I mean, you can have, you can have an intellectual understanding that is very imperfect as far as how the universe operates, how spiritual realities actually are, re are the case. You might not really understand what the heck's going on. On the other hand, intuitively, you might be doing a lot of good things, which, which you are defining as righteous, being righteous. And, and you have to admire that over. Yeah. But, but you'd hope they'd break, they'd break, free to, break, break free of their doctrinal enslavement too at some point over. Yeah. Which is going to hold them back? I gotta. I, I'm sorry. I have to really go to the bathroom right now. Well, let's just say this is over then. Okay. I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry that uh, we have to end. <laughs> yeah. I'll talk to you later. Um.